Hey guys, welcome back to another Big John TV. Drive through Thursday. We're at Wiener Schnitzel this week. I had no idea. I don't know if this is a new thing or a regular thing or a regional thing that's just now getting to us in the Bay Area of California. Wiener Schnitzel sells tamales at Christmas time at the, in, during the holiday season. So I think just starting this week, maybe, very recently, they've started selling their tamales. They're going to be on sale through the end of the year. It is a seasonal, it is a Christmas holiday thing. I never knew. I had no idea. There are three different flavors of tamales. They're all, they're all the same tamale, but then they put stuff on top. There is a green chili, a guacamole and jalapeno, and the classic chili cheese. I'm assuming that it's going to be their regular standard chili dog chili with shredded cheddar cheese on top, because that's what the pictures look like. I had no idea. I'm not sure if these are going to be awesome or horrible. I have no idea. Coming from a hot dog and a, and a corn dog and a chili dog place to have tamales, completely abnormal. So let's get into them and let's decide. They're a little bit pricey. The uh, standard chili cheese is $2.99. The guacamole tama uh, tamale is $3.69 and the green chili is $3.49. So $3.50 for a tamale is a little bit much. But... What are you going to do? Okay, so there is the guacamole jalapeno. It is the chili cheese. Again, I see chili and cheese. Um, and one single line of guacamole there, there down the middle. And it's covered in jalapenos. So, again, my mind is just like, I don't know about this. Because it's not a Mexican food joint. Not a, not a tamale joint. Let's take a bite. <clears throat> okay, so that bite there, first of all, it's salty, salty, salty. The chili itself is salty by, you know, already. Um, I'm getting a lot of the masa, the corn meal. Let's see if you can see that in there. The ratio is way off of meat to meat to masa but <clears throat> it's I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna have a few more bites of the other flavors before I give my full opinion it's overly salty the masa is a little dry and there's a lot of it so that's kind of kind of a bummer okay so this is the green chili and it is just swimming in liquid good grief this one's not gonna be dry because it's gonna be like green chili soup stew so it looks like they use the chili cheese cover as a base for all three and then add the extra toppings on it um, this tamale actually seems to be a little bit heftier on the meat so that's a decent looking bite there there's a lot of meat to it Oh, those green, oh man, the green chilies give it a really nice kick without being overwhelming. The flavor of the green chili, though, is, is delicious. It actually handles the, uh, this one handles the salt level a little bit better because there's other, other flavors going on. All right, one more big bite of this one. It is still salty. I, I think it's going to be, it's that chili that, that really makes it salty. The spice level on this one's nice though. I didn't even get that much spice from these jalapenos. And the liquidiness of the green chilies, and this one actually balances it out because the masa on this one was a touch dry. So, so far this, the uh, green chili one's actually better than the jalapeno and guacamole. And I saved the classic for last. Just chili cheese. I'm a fan of the chili cheese corn dog. I like Wiener Schnitzel's chili for as you know basic and low key as it is. I don't mind it. 
but it's just it's it's an odd thing for me to put that on the tamale then I, I just don't I just don't know how I feel about that yeah this one it's just it's just so plain and so basic the masa is a bit dry it's salty from the chili <clears throat> the flavor of the tamale is a little bit weak because the 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 strongness the strength of the of the chili so that's all i mean it could be a hot dog and a, and a bun in there and it kind of pretty much tastes the exact same so overall they're not horrible um, they could be better I think expecting a high quality tamale from Wiener Schnitzel you, you know if, if that's what you're expecting you're you're gonna be disappointed are they good yes are they decent yes are they ex you know excellent tamales no um, I think tamales from Wiener Schnitzel will probably be equivalent to a burrito or a taco from Taco Bell it, are they good? Yeah. Is, is it a real true, you know, tamale, real true burrito or Mexican food? No, not really. But overall, not bad. It's worth a try if you love tamales. If you if you like their chili, you know, that flavor is great. Um, of the three, I think the green chili probably packs the biggest punch of uh, flavor. And the extra moisture from the green chilies really does help the, the tamale not be not be so dry. Um, it does have a nice kick to it. It's not going to burn you. But definitely that one wins of the three. Um, was that the most... That was not the most expensive, so that's okay. But three, three forty nine for one tamale. Yeah. So, I don't know if I should give that a thumbs up or down. I'm going to go solid middle, only because I do have solid complaints about all three. But they're really not horrible. So... I think they're worth a try if you're a fan of tamales and the chili from Wiener Sizzle. And I think that's it. We're going to wrap it up. Make sure you click the like button and subscribe and share with your friends. Let them all know about Wiener Schnitzel's tamales. And thanks for watching. And make sure you do all those things. Thanks for the support. Uh, make sure you check out the other drive Through Thursday videos from the weeks past. Every Thursday we try and do one. Um, various drive throughs and fast food joints. And you guys seem to like them, so I'll keep doing them. All right, catch you next time, guys. See you.